Hello and welcome to a session of data interpretation. In this session, we shall take up slightly complex problems or problems wherein there are different types of charts, maybe a by, pie, maybe a bar, maybe a line or a or table. Let's take an example to begin with. Let's have a look at the diagrams. So the directions are the line graph gives the number of students passing out in the years 2002 to 2006. The first table gives the percentage of students in the class of MBA who sought employment in the areas of finance, marketing and software. The second table gives the average starting salaries of the students per month in these areas. Let's have a look at the question now. The number of students who got, who got jobs in finance is less than the number of students getting marketing jobs in 5 years by Now, we have to compare all the 5 years Difference between finance jobs and marketing jobs Ok, let's look at the 5 years figures First of all, let's identify the value in each of these 5 years Let's take the first year, 2002 what does the strength look like in the first, ok, in the line graph? It's approximately 800. In 2003, it is around 600. 2004, it is around 1100. Then it is slightly more, but less than 1200. So let's assume it to be 1150. And in the last case, it is close to 1000. So for the 5 years, it is 800, 600, 1100, 1150 and 1000. So we've identified these. Now, let's find out the difference. Now, there are two ways either I can go and find out individual percentage for both the things in the in both the uh, specializations or I can find the difference and directly uh, multiply it by the total number so in the first case it will be what marketing is 36 finance is 22 so difference is 14 then it is 48 and 17 then it is 43 and 23 then it is 37 and 19 and then 32 and 32 so last one is 0 so first one 14 percent into 800 so 14 into 8 which is 112 then it is 31 into 6 which is 186 then it is 20 into 11 so it's 220 then it is 18 into 11.5 which is 207 so this total comes to 725 hence we get the answer that 725 is the difference in the two streams. Now let's look at the next question. In 2004, students seeking jobs in finance earned rupees x more than those opting for software in lakhs. Okay, 2004, now what did we identify that time? The number of students is 1100. Now students seeking job in finance and software. So finance, the average payout was what? In the third one, so average salaries per month it is so finance was 7550 per month and software was 7050 per month so 7550 into 23% now we are not supposed to 23% in the total so 23% into 1100 which is the total strength into 7550 will give me one month's total salary taken out by finance guys what about software so it will be 7050 multiplied by 21 percent multiplied by 1100 so we get what in the first case it is close to 19.1 lakh and second case it is 16.28 lakhs now we can do it by two methods either we can subtract and then multiply it by 12 to make it annual or we can individually make it annual and then find the difference uh, either way we get 33.79 lakhs as the answer alternatively there is another way now let's look at it 1100 is common so let's keep it outside 7550 into 0.23 minus 7050 into 0.21 now 7550 can be broken into what 7050 into 0.23 plus 500 into 0.23 minus 7050 into 0.21 now this can be further reduced to 7050 into 0 0.02 plus 500 into 0.23 how simple that calculation has become so this can now be multiplied by 1100 and then by 12 to directly find out the answer let's look at the next question 
What is the percentage increase in the average salary of finance from 2002 to 2006? 2002, what is the strength? 800? But is that required? Average salary of finance from 2002 to 2006. 2002, the salary is what? 5450 and 2006 is 9810. So the difference if you divide it by the base which is 5450 we can directly get the answer so this is nothing but 4360 divided by 5450 which is 80 percent so the percentage increase is 80 percent let's look at the next question what is the average monthly salary offered to a management graduate in the year 2003 2003 okay uh, number of students is it required uh, Let's have a look at the other way around. Others is one category which is available here. Do we have the average salary for this category? We don't have it. So again, without that I cannot find out the average. Had it been given that only for finance, marketing and software, we would have been able to find out. But since there is an others category here, that will not allow us to find out the answer. So the trick is that the others is not ex exactly explained in the average salary. So it cannot be determined. Let's have a look at the next question. The average annual rate at which the initial salary offered in software, that is soft, salary offered in software in 2002 increases at? Now 2002, the salary offered to software is 5290. In 2006, it is 8640. How do we do it? So it will be what 8640 minus 5290 and that gives us 34, 3350 divided by 5290 that is somewhere close to what 62, 63%. How many years are these? 2002 to 2006 is nothing but 4 years. So around 62% divided by 4 years will give me what somewhere less than 16%, 64 by 4 would have been 16. So 62 point something divided by 4 will be slightly less than 16. So 15.9% 15 can be the right option here. Now in a mixed set, it is important to relate between the two to three different types of charts or graphs which are given. Once you are able to establish the right relation, then it becomes easy calculation. But till that time, it is slightly tricky to actually find out the answer. Be careful in attempting all such questions. Your concentration would be the key here. All the best.